This particular day, we had a school spirit day. It's kind of like a field day, but with school spirit, with each grade competing against each other. I signed up to be a banner decorator because I have art skills, and that's mostly what I'm good at. So around 9am, I went to the cafeteria to design this huge banner for my grade. Me and my group were working on the banner, and it was turning out okay. They just told me to draw a mascot and I was too shy to mention any other ideas. I was like, okay, and I went to draw it. I could have mentioned, screw this, yo, I have an idea. Guess what? We could be designing cute, pretty clothes and wearing something else other than this ugly yellow shirt and have our mascot be, well, it's funny. Uh-huh, right. Now, it was 10 a.m. and I was thinking, huh, I have to go to the bathroom. Hmm. I will after I finish. I'm almost done. And I will live to regret that so badly as if I didn't learn to go to the bathroom when I had to the first time. What is wrong with me? Ten minutes later, they announced another school lockdown. And I'm thinking, ugh, oh, another one? Really? I guess I'll go to the bathroom after this. I sit by a corner near a door, the outside of the cafeteria with a friend, and we just kinda chill thinking, this should be over soon. An hour passes. OMG! 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 I gotta pee! Ah! Why is this happening now? What is going on out there? Two hours! At this point, I am dying! Goodbye! I need to go in the bathroom so badly and I'm kinda scared? I think I just convinced myself it wasn't real so that way I would just stay calm about the situation. I've seen all this on the news, but no way this could actually happen in my school. Like, there's been so many pranks, like, it couldn't be real, right? I mean, who would want to kill everyone here anyway, right? My teachers and other students look really worried, and other students seem to have to go to the bathroom too. All of us are wondering if this is really real or not. My friend, I'm going to call her Ember, and I are just writing notes to each other. I have to go pee. My butt feels numb. I just realized almost everyone here are girls. I know, right? Is it bad that I keep staring at Queen's legs? <laughs> Nah, I find it normal. We're just talking about girls. <laughs> there is a time and place, ladies. After a while, I start to hear an engine faintly outside. I look out the door's window and there's a helicopter, helicopter. flying over us fairly close to our school. This is what I was thinking. Okay, maybe this is real. Three hours later. Yo, at this point, I feel like I'm gonna cry through my eyes because of how much I had to go to the bathroom and a lot of other students are going through the same thing. We're even contemplating if we should just go into the trash can and do it. If this is a prank, I swear, whoever this I'm up on all them. I'm just casually dying on the floor and then all of a sudden, oh God, who the hell is that? Everyone on the floor, hands behind your head right now. Oh god, they actually have guns at us? Uh, uh, huh? Oh, I forgot to put it in my pocket. Maybe I could just, uh... I said keep your hands behind your head. Well, uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave that there. I'd like to live today and the days after today. They had us go out and I'm just hobbling my way out trying not to piss myself. So many students had to go to the bathroom, and the teacher asked if we could go to the bathroom too. No, you all need to get out now. And you know what? He has a good point! We all need to get out safely. We just didn't know what was going on and how severe it was out there. We then had to walk all the way to the recreation center. A group of students like me are just hobbling our way there, just hoping we can make it there. It was... A really weird bonding moment with everyone at my school who had to go to the bathroom. When we finally made it there, there was already a line for me. I rushed to get there as fast as I possibly could without letting it out, and I scrambled my way into the bathroom. I met up with some friends after, and we just chilled until we heard more about the incident. It turns out it was a prank. 
In fact, a huge prank! Apparently, it wasn't just our school, it was multiple schools around us that got these calls from someone. Some said they were going to explode the place or they have weapons in the school. Story time. As I've mentioned about like 50 times now, I used to go to private school before I went to high school. And private schools can get away with pretty much anything. We had this thing called the late bus and it would take you home if you stayed late for after school activities or something. And to get to and from our school, you have to go up this very steep, windy, narrow road. And so they had this bus driver that everybody loved. He was a really nice guy. He was just one of those people who didn't know when to not do something or like personal boundaries. So every time we would go home, he would break really hard and then start swerving and be like, oh, we're crashing and everybody thought it was really funny. He would also do it on the highway. This one time I fell out of my seat and I smashed my face on the floor of the bus. And I went home and I told my dad and he was so furious and he called the school and I got the man in trouble and I didn't mean to get him in trouble. But then the next day, everybody on the bus was like, hey, can you pretend we're crashing? And he was like, no, I, I can't do that anymore. I felt so bad. Like, should I feel bad though? I'm going to tell you guys about the time I let my entire fourth grade class down. You think I'm exaggerating? You know, I stay up at night and I cringe at this. It's just, why did I do this? Honestly, I guarantee you none of them care. None of them remember. But I it's honestly not even that big a deal, but it is to me. Okay, let's get into it. Picture this, little fourth grade Joe excited to be going to school because it's December. And what does December mean? Christmas parties. That's one of the things that I miss about elementary school. All of the fun holiday parties. When I become a high school teacher, I promise to bring back the parties. Anyway, my teacher announced we were having a Christmas party. Everyone's like, yay! Okay, but we need people to bring snacks. She let kids volunteer what kind of snacks they could bring. Some kids said they could bring chips. Some kids said they could bring cookies, but there were no drinks. And then I suggested, what if we have hot chocolate? Everyone's like, yeah! My teacher's like, that's a great idea, Joe Zadak. Are you able to bring that? Yeah, I can bring hot chocolate! My entire class cheering. She was like, okay. So you already know I was assigned the hot chocolate. Super excited, super happy. I had such a big job, big responsibility. And I can't stress this enough, I was the only one bringing the hot chocolate. So when I got home, I asked my mother, Mom, where's the hot chocolate? She goes, right there. So I grab it, and my little dumb mm, said, this isn't good enough. It was the powdered hot chocolate. You know, the ones that come in the can? And I wanted the packets with the marshmallows. So I got really upset. This isn't the hot chocolate. This isn't the one I promised I'd bring. And in my brain, I rationalized that if I couldn't bring the best hot chocolate, then I wouldn't bring any at all. I ended up bringing chips ahoy. But that's not the worst part. I walked in, my teacher had prepared a bunch of hot water in cups. It was this giant machine filled with boiling hot water and she was stirring it. She looks at me walking and go, hey, did you bring the hot chocolate? <laughs> no, but I brought cookies. Joe! 